Surveillance cameras, alarm and fire sensors are just a small part of a vast security system. It's an entire well-coordinated structure, the workings of which are known to a very few. My name is Jeremy and this is the People Systems channel. Watch the video until the end as new protection technologies have just emerged that will surely amaze you. Any professional security system with the IS efficiency has multiple layers. This means it consists of various systems such as surveillance camera, security and alarm systems, intercom systems, access control systems, and these have the ability to automatically manage door locks on any premises. The most important thing is that all of these components must be interconnected and work as a single entity. Here's an example for you. You have a house with a neighboring lot. Motion sensors with the highest sensitivity are installed around the perimeter. They send a signal indicating that there is an object in a restricted area. Then a surveillance camera within the lot using AI functionality detects the person who has trespassed and confirms the intrusion. It will send a photo of the person to the monitoring company, activating a siren on the premise to scare away the intruders and automatically locking and unlocking certain doors. If we are talking about fire detection, well, if there is a fire, all your door locks automatically open and you can even have speakers announce evacuation direction while your fire suppression systems are activated. Next, here's what you need to know about each layer of security. Let's talk about surveillance cameras. They can be IP or analog with a resolution of 4, 8 or even 20 megapixels. There are cameras with artificial intelligence that can independently identify a person, a vehicle, the color of the vehicle, an animal, a package, a person's face, and there's even cameras that can see in total darkness. Intruders have nowhere to hide literally. They also also come in different form factors to be used in specific environment. The three most popular ones are the following. You have bullet cameras that we normally see on the outside of premises. They act as a deterrent factor for intruders. Dome cameras are mostly used inside. We see them in retail stores where they can hide in plain sight. And finally, you have turret cameras that can be seen as a mix between dome and bullet, making it extremely versatile for any project. If you want to know about all models of camera, we have a video right here that will show you what you need to know so you should watch it but after this one now that you recorded some actions on your cameras where is it going well the footage is usually stored locally on a network video recorder with hard drives these nvrs comes in different sizes depending if you have four cameras or even 16. you can also use a dedicated server for bigger projects and for residential application well some cameras can use a micro sd card to store the data however we see a rise in popularity with cloud storages making it harder for intruders to steal or even destroy the stored footage that you have to effectively manage cameras, a platform called video management software is often used, which allows simultaneous control of hundreds of cameras, making it easy to find necessary information in just seconds. Through deep learning analytics, you can look for specific things such as detecting behavior like raising hands abruptly like this, or even when someone pulls out a weapon. The video management software analyzes the scene, sends a notification to you and the monitoring station, and before you know it, help is on its way. Basically, a VMS does the analytics for your camera, making all your systems smarter using AI. Wireless security alarm systems are becoming increasingly popular, where sensors operate over distances of several kilometers. You can link up hundreds of devices using a single hub and manage all of them to your liking directly on your phone. You can even create scenarios to make sure your home is protected 24 seven. Let's say there is a water leak while you're on vacation. Your water leak sensor communicates the information to your hub and it sends a signal to your smart valve right away 
preventing any substantial damage to your home. And honestly, that's just one of many examples of what alarm systems can do these days. Another example would be smart fire systems. We mentioned it at the start, but they can automatically detect fire, extinguish the specified areas, analyze when the fire is extinguished, and then turn off. While they are doing all of this, they also send a signal to the fire department, police, and any pre-designated user contacts. No time was wasted, again, preventing any significant damage to a building. When linked with an access control, it will also open all the doors, making sure you can leave the premise safely. Now, intercom systems. We often associate them with the entrance panel in front of a building, but there is much more than that. They consist of the internal screens in your apartment, the emergency station in your school, the technology you use to open your door to your mobile phone. If we look at a phone, for example, I'm sure you have heard the name before. They enable you to answer the door with a mobile app or even with your direct phone number. You can create temporary keys to send your family and friends so they can enter your home while you're away to the grocery store and for property managers with multiple buildings well with this you can manage all of your site from the comfort of your home through their remote management platform all of this also works in a purely commercial setting keep that in mind your emergency station can dial emergency services directly you can use them so the intercom has access control in a school environment and <laughs> I could talk about this for hours, so let's keep going to another layer of security. Video doorbells are gaining popularity worldwide, replacing traditional doorbells and allowing users to monitor their front door with video and audio through a single mobile app. With the surge of porch pirates, video doorbells are becoming a must. With its integrated camera, you receive a notice when someone goes in front of it and it creates a playback, meaning you get about five seconds before the action and five seconds after the action, which gives the police the perfect footage to catch the thief red-handed. Security drones. Yes, drones. Whether it is indoor or outdoor, they can fly automatically or under security control, patrolling the premises with smart analysis. They have predefined routes with live video feed to the monitoring station, people detection capabilities, which can be really helpful in large facilities if someone needs assistance. The drone, being up in the air, is able to have a wider view than someone walking in each alley. And if that wasn't enough, when, when the drone is at, did its job, it will by itself go back to its charging station and silently wait for its next shift. The goal of the autonomous drone is to function as an additional layer of 24 seven surveillance to patrol commercial facilities. So if we're going more towards the technical language of what a security drone can do, well, it would include the following. It has the ability to program a destination or even set an autonomous patrol route at routine intervals. It has the option to program alerts to trigger investigatory flight and interact with security incidents in virtually real time. Also, you have the always on video feed to provide a more comprehensive surveillance coverage, whether in flight or monitoring from the docking station. Uh, as I mentioned, there's people detection capabilities and also an object avoidance analytics. It has future ability to carry a variety of sensors such as infrared video or even radio wave detection that can be integrated into other security and facilities management systems to help alert and respond to potential hazards. And guys, Robots are not a dystopian future anymore. Security robots can be operated in avatar mode by using a virtual reality system. This feature creates a live telepresence environment for a human controller to remotely interact with real life surroundings through the robot. This capability could further enable cost saving in the future for organizations by reducing the dependencies of having to send personal to a remote 
high risk or even a potentially dangerous location in response to an event. These human-like robots are being developed to let's go more technical so to conduct autonomous patrol in commercial facilities, perform two-way communication between the public and an operator, open doors, operate elevators, interact with employees. They can even inspect and remove hazards or obstruction when using their hands and because as you can see they can move all their fingers. They can complete various tasks requiring fine motor skill actions. They capture 360 degree view of patrol areas via robust camera systems and again they're really smart. They can self-dock and self-charge to their designated stations. Access control systems are installed in any building with doors to manage entry and deny access to specific individuals. Nowadays, you can unlock doors using electronic keys like tags or cards. The systems offer flexible settings with numerous functions. For instance, it restricts entry when the occupancy exceeds a set limit or even tracks how much time a person spends inside a building each month, automatically sending reports to the administrator. It is literally dare I say, the heart of your security systems. Your camera can send the signal to your access control system to open a door. As mentioned before, if there is a fire, it opens all doors so everyone in the building can escape safely. If there is an intruder inside a premise, it can act as a man trap, locking them inside. Smart locks can also be seen as access control, where instead of a traditional metal key, you can use an electronic key or even without any kind of key, just use the keypad to enter your code. And again, like access control, it ties up perfectly with your security system. You can set up schedules and scenarios to lock your door so instead of having to manually open them all in the morning for your shop for instance well you click one button and all the doors are unlocked same thing in a residential application making it so when you leave your home it locks behind you we can see this trends in hotels offices apartments Honestly, everywhere there's a shift towards smart locks in this industry. Choosing a security system that suits your property is crucial. In the description, we've included links to useful devices that can help secure your premises. Guys, this is Jeremy. I'm signing off for now. Take care of yourself and we'll see each other on the next one.